Start Battle, Banjo and Kazooie! Yoshi! Hey guys, Kurosaki again. I'll be commentating this set. We have skips against Three, Nighthawk two, in what is one, round four. Go! Otherwise known as Winner's Quarters. I mean, it's the first time that both players are playing against each other, so I'm interested to see how close or how one sided this match could go. Skips, I heard, wasn't feeling too confident about going to Luigi today, which understands why he's going at Banjo, in my point of view. Nighthawk is off to a good start. Very good Yoshi player that's been up and coming at Labor in the last few months. Uh, a bit unfortunate there, got the weak hit of the Yoshi Hammer. Alright, good read on the get up option on the platform from Skips. Nighthawk thought it was in a bit of trouble there, but he just delayed his recovery. Fair play. Oh, Nighthawk better stop. Better start respecting those grenades. Nice aggressive landing. Good job on Nighthawk to not get hit by the Wonder Wing. So easy to lose your concentration when you're in the heat of moment and get hit by a move as strong as Wonder Wing. And your players at the time will typically go high, high on stage, even if they're just by the lead. That's just to release a grenade to make their opponent think twice about trying to intercept in the air. Oh my goodness! Oh! Oh! oh. Wow! He just connected the up smash from the egg lay. That was amazing on Lighthawk. Well played to him. But what I find more impressive was the um, egg lay from Yoshi beating Banjo Wonder Wing. I'm not too sure. I think it came down to um, Yoshi literally intercepting Wonder Wing at the just the right amount of frames where it's vulnerable. I don't know. Anyway, both players are down to their last stock, but Nighthawk, Nighthawk is building up an impressive lead against Skips. Uh, Skips did intercept it, did mix up his recovery there using the egg. Oh dear. No, nope, he doesn't make it. That's an SD from Skips. Nighthawk hoping to take full advantage now from the SD. Doesn't want to start relaxing more. And then Skips easily come back at it. Uh, interesting egg throwing from Nighthawk. He thought Skips was going to approach by Shaw Hop Aerial. I think the side beam was just for the purpose of mix up from Nighthawk. Uh, Nighthawk starting to play a bit uh, aggressively at the wrong time, I believe. Good patience. Put the job on Skips shielding the up tilt. Oh, he rolled back and Skips heavily punishes Wonder Wing. Skips has made it quickly back to a level game. Nighthawk does seem to feel more loose out there. He doesn't feel as sharp as he did. Especially on Skips the second stop. Now he's hoping now he's starting to retaliate. This is lovely. Oh, so close to the Yoshi Hammer, but the grenade comes to the A for Banjo. Went for it. That was just a regular grab, not the egg lay move. I caught Sonny's recovery, but that's only gonna make Skips feel more comfortable on stage. And Banjo is has has a pretty good uh, ledge punishing game. Was anticipating a roll in. Nighthawk slowing down the pace. Reverse hit. The reverse hitbox of the up smash connecting. Lovely patience. Shielding. The shield was about to break, so Skips had to let go. Unless he got shield poked. Shores managed to mash out to that. I think the up tilt would have killed had Banjo connected it. Oh, there's another grab. And goes for this and goes for the up smash just to ensure he takes the stock. That is a steal on the arm for Skips. Taking a 1-0 advantage. I gotta be honest, I thought game one had Lighthawk written all over. But I do feel like he became 
too relaxed out there. And it's just that little lapse of lack of concentration was enough for Skips to retaliate hard enough to steal the first game from him. Could have had the outcome of this match, you know. Yoshi. Especially considering the fact that Skips empty in his second stock. Light talk, I just. No, I thought. I don't know why I thought Nighthawk. So it's Three, just, that skips. Two, one, go! But understandable for the change of. Uh, change of character. Skips wants to use a heavy punisher in neutral, like Wolf. But Yoshi does. does decently well against Wolf, I think. But he, he probably didn't have this setup though to run off stage at Yoshi Hammer. Light Hawk is having the edge at the moment. Somewhat even though in this game. Good recovery from Skips. Knowing that a character like Yoshi can be quite funny in terms of how the edge got. Now I wonder if Skips is going to deliberately use side B to recover or not, and then mix up at a time that Light Hawk was not anticipated. Meanwhile, that was a very nice parry to up smash. He's unfortunate he didn't get rewarded for the stock, but Light Hawk wasn't at range, but Skips was in range for that up smash. Bit of a standoff there from Skips, but Light Hawk is not having any of it. Punishes again with up smash the test attack, but still no stock. Skips trying to make Nighthawk panic with how close he's getting up to it. But Nighthawk, with his respectful patient play, is just waiting for the right opportunity to attack. Oh, I saw the shake of the head from Nighthawk. He wasn't happy with how he recovered there. It was a case of exposing himself to the wolf there. Skip's a bit lucky there, his directional air dodge was not heavily punished. Fast rolling just in time to avoid Yoshi Hammer. And gets an approach to a grab. Try to extend the combo with an up tilt. Oh my goodness, I love this mix up for Skip's. It's not often I see wolf players go for fast rolling fair and then reflect. I'm lucky Skips is a mix-up play with Wolf in neutral. Whether he can take advantage of it and win this second game is, un is unknown at the moment. It gets very tense when both players, they just stand right in front of each other and they keep on missing hits and grabs. That's the back air which just manages to take out Skips from the top. But I don't think Light Hawk is gonna have an easy route to win this second game. Again, I do question Nighthawk's ability to stay focused. Well, this is a beautiful juggling combo once again from Nighthawk, just like what he did on Skips' second stock. Good grab from Skips, tried. He was hoping Nighthawk was going to aggressively land in front of him. I don't understand that Yoshi bomb. Oh my goodness! I didn't think Skips was gonna land that forward smash, but landed he did! Skips could yet again steal another game from Nighthawk. Isn't that lovely, that little bit of acrobatic play of Orville Donald? Just flipping over the egg. And once again, Skips' interesting choice of approaching neutral to go for um, a shine. I would anticipate Wolf players to go for a second short for a second fair. Uh, Skips is punishing well here. I would I would be nervous if I'm going to light talk right now. Lace is doing a pretty good job also in pressuring light talk. Right hitbox. Skips is just looking for an opportunity. Back end, not gonna end it just yet. It 
it's getting tense out there. Both players, they're looking for that one hit. There's, there's the dare from Nighthawk. The patience from Skips. Oh my goodness, so close. Everyone bringing up shields just at the right time. Oh my goodness, oh, oh my goodness. They're so desperate for the stock, both players. Will the sniper end? Oh, it just does with a with a world type there. Oh my goodness, I was on the edge of my seat there. I could not, I could not hold in my excitement with how close I was getting. Well done to Lighthawk there for managing to take to win game two from Skips. He managed to he managed to stay focused to take out the second game. So that was good to see. Oh, why is Skips going for that? Okay, I let's see how Skips does with Falco. I'm I'm intrigued now. Oh, let me update that scoreboard. There we go. So, Night Talk has faced the bear and the wolf, and now he faces the bird. The only character missing here is Fox is Fox Cloud. But unfortunately, this is only a best of three set. Skips does have the slight advantage so far. Good time shield. Oh, caught him with the force smash. Ah, been unlucky by ever Skips. Nice one had no jump there. I'm, I was sure of it. But he could have reacted in time to punish um, Lighthawk's uh, direct or air dodge by ledge. I uh, went for the up air, would have certainly killed. I think around 110%, Falco can up, air, up tilt and then has to follow his opponent's DI to land the back air for the kill. I think that's pretty common. Okay. I'm gonna assume that was bad DI on my talk's part, because I didn't think that forward air forward throw would kill. Anyway, life's retaliation from my talk with the up air juggling. Up to the up smash, really adding in all that damage. He doesn't want Night Talk to feel comfortable, and a miss tech from Night Talk could be a bit costly because. Setting disappointed a bit longer than he thought. Okay, he has taken Skips his first stock. But whether he can reset the neutral, which he could have done there, he jab reset it Skips. He did not take full advantage though. Sorry. And when Light Talk does retaliate, Skips seems to find an answer to slowly but surely regain his advantage. Oh wow. What a brave boy Skips was. No, went for back air. Should have gone for up air, I right feel. Even if it didn't kill. And there we go, as I mentioned earlier, up tilt to the back air. But I do think you have to follow your opponent's DI for that. Poor landing option by Skips. Very beautifully called out by my team. Oh my goodness. Wow. No, it. If Light Talk had won, won it that way, I don't think I could say anything for quite a while. Oh, he's reading his get up options now. Skips, my boy, do you have an answer to this? Well, it looks like he has, because he's slowly but surely making it back. Oh, just too far away. But the up to back is going to do it again. My goodness, that was a close oh, set. Sorry, got a chance. Great effort for both players, but Skips does come out in on top. Valiant effort from Nighthawk, but it's Skips who advances.